Colin and I are out on a little adventure today. Uh, we just got off pavement and uh, we're going to air down right away and uh, make the ride comfortable. Colin drove the Forester on many of our excursions over the years, but this is his first time behind the wheel of the Frontier. Poking down a little dirt road where I think we may be able to find a campsite. So we came down this little road, we kind of got to the end of the road here, we found a little spot next to a really Colin has the option of using the gazelle tent or the really fast to set up Quechua two second tent. Uh, he's actually opted to go back to the tent cot that he's used for years now. What, why did you opt for this, Colin? The well, part of the appeal is that it's just a, a fully standalone option. You pull the cot out and you put the tent up. And even though it takes a little bit more time than the gazelle, I mean, it's not like it takes 20 minutes. A single person can uh, unfold it uh, somewhat easily. The cot is a, a little heavy and tricky to work with. Another reason why I prefer this setup is his cots that he fits in the Gazelle. They're a, a, quite a bit smaller than this. This is very wide. 
very long, so it's very comfortable. So it's a more spacious bed. Yeah, even though the interior isn't spacious, the bed is very spacious. And for me, I don't mind having to sit to get dressed. For reference, I'm about 5'10", right? Yeah, and you're yeah. sitting up completely in there. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very it's a very cozy little space. Yeah, well, you've used it many times and you've you've always liked it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the bed itself is actually remarkably comfortable. Yeah, the cot itself. I've actually slept in this tent cot a couple of times myself, and I'm not super fond of the of the small space, but it's a it's not a bad way to camp. Doing a simple little Greek style egg scramble with some red onions, feta cheese, kalamata olives, and uh, some spinach. Just that spinach in there. And we'll call it good. As we pack up camp and get ready to roll out, Colin has some additional thoughts to share about the tent cot. As nice as this is to, uh, to set up and sleep in, it is definitely not nice to, uh, to put back away. And they, they probably could have gone with a slightly larger case. One person, ten, two person, <laughs> disassembly. It's a rare treat for Colin and I to have our busy schedules line up well enough to get out on a little adventure together, but various obligations await us back in town, 
so it's already time to air up and head home. Thank you.